Hey everyone, it's Ricky Egger here with One Question Interviews, the show where I ask famous people curious questions. You've seen today's guest in Felicity and Flashpoint. She also released her third album last year, and this summer will be a member of the cast of Covert Affairs. Please welcome Amy Jo Johnson. Hello. Hello. Thank you Hello. so much. Thanks for being a guest on my show. Thanks for having me. So tell the folks, well, I kind of did tell the folks what you've been up to, but you've, you're very busy. You're a very busy person. You know, I've been going around in circles for the last two days trying to get things done, and I haven't, I haven't gotten anything done. I'm kind of going a little <laughs> nutty right now. Um, but for Covert Affairs, I'm really excited. So I'm doing like a recurring role, so maybe seven episodes. I'm not sure how many yet. Okay. Um, but that's really fun. So that'll be airing this summer. Um, and then I finished a screenplay called The Space Between, which we're going to um, shoot in spring of 2015. It'll be my first feature that I'll direct. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I have a year to sort of get it all in order and place. It'll be very low budget, but uh, I'm going to do my first feature. Yeah. Because you've done... Then- You've done some short films in the in the recent past. I yeah, know. I, I did two short films. One bent. One one was called Bent, um, and that was my f- first one, and that just finished the festival route. And then um, <clears throat> I just finished um, my second one called Lines, which mm-hmm. Enrico Colantoni's in, and he's very funny in it. Um, and that hopefully will start the festival route um, in the summer. Now, uh, Bent. You mentioned it it uh, went the the festival route. Yeah. You, you won an award for that. I won a couple. A couple. You won a couple? I, I, yeah. I saw you won the Long Island Film Festival Award for yeah. Women Directors. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that was cool. Congratulations. The, the Toronto um, Independent Film Festival. It won the Jury Award. Very nice. Yeah. Um, and then the WIFT, Women in Film and Television Toronto, it won the Audience Choice Award. Which is very cool. And this is your first thing. Yeah, my first short film is actually going to be um, available online to watch at um, the National Screen Institute Online Film Festival. So NS. I'll look it up, and and it'll already be yeah, below your face. That starts actually on Tuesday, but th- that that starts. It'll be on there for a while. Good. And lines was crowdfunded. I don't know if Bent was, but I know... They both were. Both were. On Indiegogo, yeah. So how does that work? Because this is, this is kind of a new thing for, for film, independent film, is to kind of pitch the idea of it to the general public and say, uh, depending on, on how you donate, you get different perks. It's yeah. almost, almost like subscribing to PBS. It's... <laughs> Right at the at the five dollar level, you get the tote bag, and right. <laughs> totally, I did do a tote bag. Yeah, but it was higher than five dollars, I'm sure. Like, yeah, and I only sold three too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have a whole bunch of tote bags. Um, you know, the my Indiegogo um, experience so far has been really amazing, and it's only only because of the. Uh, supporters and that I have on Twitter and Facebook and these people have most of them have like watched my entire career and have just sort of been on the journey with me and a part of it and so it's been really um exciting and fun and also really cool to get to know these people and sort of as I'm like transitioning from acting into directing to have this support and these people kind of like watch me go and help me go through the transition, which will take a, a few years, you know. So, right. um, yeah, the Indiegogo campaigns were very successful only because of them. And one of my perks on um, lines was, I'll sing a song for you. And I've seen those on, on YouTube. If They're people- a little silly. <laughs> they're, they're great, though. They're very personal. They're very, very you. Yeah, you know. I have 70 more to do. Okay. So, I know, right? Do they all have to be different songs, or can they be the same song? I never set the rules. I'm about to just clump, like, ten people into one song. No. <laughs> 
right? I don't know. You might get complaints. <laughs> songs. And I was thinking about karaoke. I've been looking online for like different karaoke music, and I thought that could be kind of fun. Little, little "Don't Stop Believing" in there, and Let's change it up a little bit. Yeah, so I might do a few karaoke that songs. <laughs> And, yeah. and, I didn't well, say what song. No, you didn't. It just a song. Could be Happy Birthday, although you probably get hit with some kind of copyright problem with those. They, they're kind of, they're very raw. They're very raw and real. Very cool. <laughs> I, I really like them. I, okay. I would be, I would be pleased if I had donated and that was what I got. So. And that's what you got. And then you get a little email and you have it and you can download it and it's yours. And, whatever. and your name is mentioned. It's, it's yeah. definitely yours. They talk right to you. Yeah. And the the songs thus far are off your albums. Yep. Your last album came out last year. In uh, November. It's in called Never Broken. Never yeah. Broken. Very cool. And that's cool. available online on my website or cdbaby.com or iTunes. Or SoundCloud. There's, or there's SoundCloud. all yeah. kinds of places. Yeah. So, um, as you know, the show is called One Question Interviews. This right. is this is the scary part. I have almost a thousand different questions. Well, I'm going to take a smaller stack because this is really hard to get through. Um, ah, I have a th- almost a thousand different questions, ranging from the profane to the profound. I will yeah. choose one at random. You will answer it seriously or in a funny voice if you like, or you can get out your guitar and sing an answer if you want. Yeah, uh, Oh, it's okay. So am I. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> I'm just going to riffle down the side. You tell me to stop any old where. Riffle. Okay. Right there. Do you want this one or this one? The top or the bottom? Oh, my God. This is like tarot card reading. Oh. I'll take the top one. Okay. I've never done tarot card reading. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. This, is, this is, should be good. Okay. Breathe in. Breathe out. <laughs> Amy Joe Johnson, your question is... How do you personally know that you are more optimistic or pessimistic? How do I personally know? Yeah, for you. Oh, I'm truly more optimistic. Absolutely. But how do you know that? You know how I know that? Because for 20 years, I've been an actress. And the amount of rejection I have received in those 20 years, I should be incredibly depressed. (laughs) (laughs) But I'm not because, like, I think to be in this profession, you have to just be an eternal optimist and have to just, like, constantly see hope and be in, like, I'm waiting to hear about this thing, this school that I want to go to this summer. I don't think I got it, guys. It's been over a week. I don't think I got it. A little devastated. Had a little cry last night. Mm -hmm. But you know what? I woke up today and I'm just going to persevere and I'm going to do this thing. still gonna direct i'm still gonna make my movies just maybe not as good <laughs> but you know what i mean anyway so yeah no that's that's excellent like it's it's very true especially in this industry yeah that you do get a lot of rejection and you have to realize that it's not personal it's just they weren't looking most for you yeah most of the time it's not personal but you know people burn bridges <laughs> and then it is <laughs> Mix, you know matching chemistry to but you can't even dwell on it. You can't even think about it. You just got to move on. And I, I looked into you, I researched you before this this interview, and uh, you you haven't been uh, without work. So it's true. I've been very blessed, and like have consistently worked my entire career, which has been great. So, so yeah, so I have to look at the positive, right? You right. Well, I mean, you might have been rejected for one role, but. Obviously, a couple of weeks later, you got something else. Right. So you're you're doing just great, and and it's all good. It's, it's all good. All okay. <laughs> we'll get through this. <laughs> <laughs> See, that was a good answer. That was a good question. It was very simple. I have a question. That was a good one. That was that was like tailor made for you. It was. It was perfect. Very it was good. Tarot cards. Okay. Tarot cards. <laughs> Well, we'll do one one question tarot cards uh, some other season. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much for being on the show. That was that thank was you. that seemed like it went by fast. It did. It did. Um, everybody, just check out Amy Jo Johnson in Covert Affairs, which returns to the USA Network with new episodes June twenty fourth 
which is a Tuesday, and it's uh, 10 p.m. Pacific, 9 Central. You can figure out it. You just check your listings. You'll find it. Set your PVR. Um, you can also watch Amy Jo in all the episodes of Flashpoint and a movie called Tiger Tears, which are all on Netflix. Tiger Eyes. Okay, well, I'll believe you. you Judy were, Bloom. It was a Judy Bloom book. You're absolutely correct. Yep. And it just hit Netflix today as of uh, our, our recording. And <laughs> as I said before, her music is on SoundCloud, CD Baby, and iTunes. You just have to search for her name. It's right there. And uh, her Twitter, follow her on Twitter at underscore Amy Jo Johnson. And she is verified. We, we had a little trouble with an interview like last year. And at that time, you weren't verified. And in the time between, yeah! big blue check mark. <laughs> 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 uh, you could also go to amyjojohnson.com where she has all kinds of links. And uh, a lot of them are A to the double J. They are. Facebook, okay. Instagram, all that stuff. Just, But you know what else is easy is if you go to onequestioninterviews.com, I'll post a transcript of this interview along with all the links to all the cool stuff we've talked about. I'll figure out whether it's Tiger Tears or Tiger Eyes, and I'll get it right. It's definitely Tiger Eyes. <laughs> it's definitely Tiger Eyes. <laughs> um, and uh, it might take a while, but the transcript will be there. Just, just give me a minute, okay? Uh, anyway, that's it. Uh, this is Rick Yeager for One Question Interviews. Thank you so much for watching, and subscribe to the show in the iTunes podcast directory so you don't miss out on the next episode. Makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, I thought so. Okay, bye-bye. Every time I talk to you, you totally stump me.